I watched Coventry burn thanks to my beloved father. Being a black country mum, he said, come on my wench, come and see this. Because when you are an old lady, you will be able to say, I watched Coventry burns. I watched Coventry being bombed. <laughs> As you stood on the doorstep, you could see the bombs coming down. The policeman comes to Pop on the doorstep and said, you have got to leave your home because opposite us was the old men's home. And they had dropped a landmine in the old men's home and you've got to get out now. Well, Pop had got a car which he'd bought for three pounds and so we put some blankets in the car and on his petrol ration that he should have gone to work with, he drove us to Clint because he said we were more important. And so we sat and dozed and watched Coventry being burnt from Clint. Mum said, we're not stopping in this car anymore. We're going home and the three of us will go in and if he blows up, we go up together. And so we picked up the ribbon and went into the cottage. And the policeman shouted, don't light that coal fire. And so at least we were in the house with the blankets. It was time for work, so I had to go to work just because you'd been in the bombing the night before. Didn't mean to say you didn't go to work. Please note, you lazy lot. And so your life went on. And each month, the rations seemed to be cut, cut, cut. But the farm at Quinton was full of farms. So the farmers had always got a rifle on their shoulder with two or three rabbits on. And whenever he saw us kids, he would say, does your mum want a rabbit? I would say, yes, my mum wants a rabbit. She stewed it with shin of beef and vegetables. And the weekend, she roasted it and we had it as chicken. Quite nice. I like rabbit. And I remember after the war going out for a meal and buying some chicken and they'd serve me up rabbit. I said, here, yeah, this is rabbit. Oh no, it's not. I said, I've eaten enough roasted rabbit. You're serving up roasted rabbit as chicken. And they were. They'd con you always to make tuppence out of you, the idle lot. <laughs>